Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the disgusting metropolis city. Ha! Huh. And get a better view of just how disgraceful a place this is. Look at it. Look at it in all its opulence. Yes, total lack of courtesy and manners in this particular area. They've forgotten it all with their decadence, with their rich and peaceful lifestyle. Oh, but Dark Halibut will show them. Dark Halibut will show them all! <laughs> I'm sorry. I was you're not using my indoor voice. That's very, very rude. My name is Total Biscuit. Welcome back to DC Universe Online. Took a few days off. Been a bit busy. I'm mean, right back on with it. So I've done most of this quest because I really didn't think you had to see that. I think the whole pick up and collect quest is possibly the most boring that they could come up with. I really do not like the pick up and bring them to this particular location area. Indeed, I can't stand them anymore. I've also discovered that laser eyes is really powerful. Also, I've discovered that these guys are quite tough. You think you as demonstrated. If you aggro more than a couple of these, you are dead because this is actually a level 12 quest. Level differences do make a very, very considerable difference, as you might imagine, in DC Universe Online when it comes to PvE content. But it's okay because that gives us an excuse to run at incredibly fast speeds across the city. There we go. Up to the top of that nice monument, and then you completely lose control of yourself. You know, I think super speed is probably the most difficult power to control out of the three movement systems. I, I was doing a little bit of acrobatics on alt, and once you get to level 9 and you start getting the movement powers like the grapple assist and the rocket pack, it's really much easier to control than this. Uh, you could go incredibly fast with super speed, but if you hit any terrain that causes it to go in a weird direction, then you can be all over the sodding place. Okay, oh, there we go. It was you who experimented on me. Where the sod am I getting hit by? So, like I say, these metahuman patients, they do a huge amount of damage. But, not quite enough to deal with the meteors falling on their heads, which I find is problematic for most people, really, metahuman or otherwise. That and the fact that because I have laser eyes, I can basically snipe them at a range and... It will almost kill them. Sometimes it will kill them completely, which is why it's fantastic. Barely any cooldown on it either. Absolutely wonderful. Right, we are done with this particular quest. And hopefully we can get on to something a little bit more entertaining. And see what is available, shall we? Hospital Havoc. There we go. Luther here. Naturally, the Daily Planet got wind of this little misunderstanding. We need to block all communications in or out. Take out any patients attacking the jamming devices on the hospital roof. Freedom of the press only goes so far. Indeed, of course. It's Captain Egypt. Oh, I'm sorry, is that a little bit too topical for you? Ugh. A big shout out to all of our Egyptian brothers. Sad state of affairs it is. Okay. Sorted, sorted, sorted. What? What the hell's Bizarro doing here? Let's fight Bizarro for no apparent reason. Coming in lasers! I really have no idea why Bizarro is here, but I'm gonna beat on him anyway. You can't treat us like this! We're people too! No, Bizarro isn't really people. I see! Well then, giddy up. Beat the snot out of him. Wow, he has a lot of HP. Ow! <laughs> and he hits like a truck! I don't know why I'm surprised by this, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Ah, uh, get it away! Uh, okay. That didn't work out so well. Don't suppose they chance of getting me up? No, absolutely not. Oh well. <laughs> Jeez. Note to self, avoid level 13 Bizarro. What the? Who the hell is this? Stupid sneaking little thing going all around there. I don't know. They call him Sneaky Boy. Hmm. And we were somehow not intimidated by that. Alright, get away from Club Ponds. There's another quest over there actually dealing with the Hive, but we'll do that later. I'm now running backwards, aren't I? As is always the way when you tend to go at maximum possible velocity across the city this way. 
If at all possible, you want to try and stick to the roof so you don't aggro anything, but this is the least convenient of the three movement sets in order to make that happen. Okay, is this the top of the hospital? Are we actually here? We may very well be. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm not blaming you because there's like a metric ton of you, so we just incinerate you all if it's all possible. There we go. Much better. Okay, we are in more business. No, no, don't shoot at that. Ugh. It's okay. It's just Dark Hallowed being polite to these people. I'm gonna waste my super overpowered ability on something else so that we can have some good fisticuffs, good sir. Yes. Hmm, I think not. Right, let's get the. Why would there be signal jammers on the roof of a hospital? I, I don't know. Evidently, those premiums have got to be spent somehow. Now that the flow of information is back in our hands. Show the press and my patients what happens when they try to break a story without my permission. Oh, Lex, you're so dreamy. Right, I have more skills. This is always a good thing. So, potentially, yes. Can I put anything in movement? I can. I can keep going into movement if I want. I can increase the resistances. I could do all of these. These are actually attack-based things that can be done with movement. I don't really see the point. I could also spend skill point in a weapon and get a second weapon upgrade. Now, I do have no problem whatsoever with my current weapon, but it would be kind of nice to be able to get something else. I'm thinking maybe we might want to look at a hand blasting. Gives me a nice bit of range. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe hand blasting. Sounds like a good idea. We're going to go with that. There we go. We can now hand blast. Admittedly, I have... No weapons whatsoever for that. Now, also, we did gain this. This is a tanking spec, so you can change between specs if you so desire. Uh, that's my current damage abilities. Right now, there's not a huge amount of difference. Not a huge amount, anyway. I mean, most of these, you know, those are the damage rolls. These are the defensive rolls. You don't really, you know, there's, there's not a huge amount of difference. I don't have enough abilities to justify mucking about with it. I don't think I've actually got anything for hand blasting, but we can grab something later. Punish blabbing meta patients and destroy news vans. We are the villain. Come on. It's to be expected. To be fair, they were incredibly rude to do so without Alexa's permission. That will never get old. Okay. Where exactly are we going for this? We're in the area right now, I think. Near as I can tell. Punish some blabbing patients. I wonder if they're specifically... That's a raging patient. <laughs> Not quite the same thing, evidently. Well, I don't know. Probably is. There you go. This also has a nice knockback effect. So it can push you all the way out there. Okay, cool. It's the same thing. Oh, a new kind of soda cola. That's the most important upgrade I could possibly have. Robots don't even drink soda cola, but... You know, this entire game must be sponsored by it. So there you go. There we go. That that does so much damage. It's very effective. Someone help! And I'm running rapidly out of power. Problematic. You know, why do you give all of these patients superpowers so that they can kill me horribly? You know, Lex obviously did not think this through. The problem with a lot of the villains in this game, they're really not all that wise when it comes to their evil schemes. We're gonna do something like this. Like, don't, don't, don't do that. It's a terrible idea. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, well, I can think of a few things, Lex. Ah. Uh, at least I would have said that, but I'm a polite individual, so a strongly worded letter was given. I don't know what that is, but it's badass. Oh, yeah. I want one. Well, not too difficult to deal with these guys. At least they're nice and spread out, so you don't end up aggroing a bunch at once. It's good that the game does have a degree of challenge, though. No question about that. Pretty happy about it. <laughs> uh, dropping meteors on people's heads is not going to get old, however. Just bear that in mind. Well, that's not going to happen, is it? Because we're on a PvE server. All they can do is send me angry tells, and you know what? That's not quite as effective. Oh, yeah. Now, I did actually learn a new combo ability. I just can't remember the bloody button combination. Something we'll have to look into. Hmm. 
Vans are not resistant to laser eyes. Always a useful thing to note. Right. Let's have a quick look, shall we, at those abilities we were talking about earlier. Do, 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 do. Skills. Is that skills? Yes, it is. Staff. Now, I grab this one. Downward smash combo. Please, tap three. Hold. Help. Tap. Is, is there a second page to that combo? I would love to tell you, but it won't let me actually go along, so... There. There we go. Actually sticks there. Tap. That's a massively long combo. All right, so tap three, hold, tap, tap three again, and double hold. Interesting. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Hold. Ah, there we go. Nice. Okay. So apparently there's two ways to do that combo, as far as I can tell, anyway. And that's supposed to be pretty powerful. Also, on? it charges up my nice Maybe healing burning, ability. Crazy little man. As much as I would have liked to keep the volcano thing, it just... It wasn't working out. And that was simply because of the amount of charging it took. And it, it's like, well, it's cool and all, but it doesn't really do much overall. Huh. That guy appears to be evil. Can I kill him? Let's PvP on and find out. I am now PvP flagged. Unfortunately, I don't think this guy is. So there you go. Am I supposed to be breaking these things? That is like a news van to me. A very odd look if it was. Right. We just need to find the remaining news vans in this area. How hard can they be to find? We will find out sooner rather than later. The Great Villainy! And possibly modesty. Never good to brag and overestimate one's powers. It's very impolite. I can't help but notice that this thing appears to be made out of titanium. Evidently, the Daily Planet's budget is fairly ridiculous. Just... To, well, oh, it will not break. Okay, we are ignoring that and finding one that will. Freaking Halo buggies in here for no apparent reason. I don't know, even know what they're there for. But it's okay, because I found some collectibles, ladies and gentlemen. I love these things. Fantastic stuff. This is Lois Lane for Daily Planet Live. Lex Luthor announced today that the new metahuman medical wing at the Metropolis General Hospital, which is entirely funded by LexCore, will also be entirely staffed by LexCore as well. Despite the protests of numerous human rights groups, the wing currently remains open to metahumans seeking treatment for what Luther terms their unique needs. Yes, indeed. I was actually talking to the guy that came up with the collectibles idea, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? It's such a great way to actually get a little bit of lore into the game without forcing it down people's throats. And often some of them are extremely amusing. Like I said, Metropolis, to me, is nowhere near as interesting as Gotham, and I do hope I get to go back to Gotham. I do have a choice of going to Chinatown, which I may go to. Chinatown's got a bunch of crazy occult stuff going on, so I'm okay with that. Oh. And now I'm level 11. I may be considering doing Stop. some You're hurting me. PvE dungeons, the alerts. Oh. I've got access to Area 51, which is supposed to be quite entertaining. Oh, no. There you go. Oh. Yeah, big fan of that. It works extremely well. Now, as I recall, there are also a few side quests around here that I haven't quite grabbed. So let's go and have a look, see what we can see. Some of these metas are wearing experimental enhancement devices. The things have gone totally haywire. The metas are going insane from the feedback. They ain't safe for transport until we get those devices off. Don't bother being gentle. The patients wandered quite a ways over here. The Justice League will get you. There are times when I wish I had gotten side quests before beating up a bunch of these damn dudes. Yes, unfortunately, DC Universe suffers from what I like to call Wrath Syndrome. It's like, you must quest to kill a bunch of these, but I already killed a bunch of them. It doesn't matter, it doesn't count, do it anyway. Uh, well, at least I suppose you can justify it this time, because I had no idea about these amazing, wonderful armbands. I have to wonder if they're those magnetic ones that all the sports people seem to wear, actually believing they do something. I know what it is about sportsmen and the complete and total lack of common sense that seems to be 
absolutely virulent amongst them. We're going to wear these magical armbands because they make our... No, they don't. Don't be ridiculous. But it's proven by... No, it isn't. It's proven by nothing whatsoever. But the other guys wear them. Oh, please. Overpaid and undereducated a lot of these guys, evidently. You know, I can't help but notice a complete and total lack of freaking news vans. Where the hell are they all? I mean, come on. It's like, yeah, some major stuff's going on. Are there any news vans? No. We're not even going to bother with it. We've got a better story. Justin Bieber's in freaking town. You know, I wish you could PvP flag against Justin freaking Bieber. Oh, I would be very... I would be a very happy day, I tell you. Very satisfying. That a news van? Ah, why? It's invisible damn news vans. My uh, nemesis. How do I possibly deal with such a thing? Break everything! Oh, did I... S please tell me I actually got the credit from that. If I didn't, I'm going to be highly upset. There we go, grab one from there. Not too bad. Where the hell are the others? One would think at this point that they're kind of running out of news vans to send in, but evidently not. Well, what's going on? Well, the editor says that 30 of our news vans have just been blown up by some rampaging supervillain. Well, we'll just send a few more. He'll probably just get bored. You know, oddly enough, that might actually happen. That would be a little bit meta, wouldn't it? Oh, well, some of these patients evidently aren't actually wearing armbands at all. Can we blow up a car with it? Well, we could, if it was in the line of sight. Never mind. Bear in mind, you really don't want to waste too many powers on static objects like that, because if you end up without any power, it makes it pretty tricky if you end up pulling a group. All right. Your jamming technology is good, Lex, but not good enough. Supergirl's in your so-called hospital wing to shut it down permanently and bring you and these allies of yours to justice. Ha <laughs> ha ha! We should see about that now, won't we? Why can't I complete... Oh, I assume I have to now go in after that. You know, if you want to fight me, you've got to actually PvP flag, just FYI. Yeah. I don't even know if he's actually friendly or not. I can't remember what the colors are for it. I don't think he is friendly. Right. So. Your jamming technology yeah, is good, we Lex, heard you the first time, enough. yes. Uh, Supergirl's in your man so hospital wing tight. to shut it down permanently. And bring you and these allies of yours to justice. Right, well, let's see if we can actually get into the wing. You know? Assuming that this has actually got something to do with it. Dungeons, a wonderful little dungeons. Also, Agent Persa Frickin' Virids. Who the hell drew the short straw to come up with that name? Some of these escaping metas are still wearing their genetic transcoders. Get those, and we can oh, recreate most of our research. Not again! To reward oh, why did I not pick these up earlier? Let me those guess. Those escaping metas stole highly confidential documents. Color me shocked! Uh, treatments. To give to the daily oh. We need that stuff back before it gets to the press. Well, at least we can grab this. Now, how the hell do you get into the actual hospital? More to the point. Or maybe, just maybe, you have to actually do all the side quests before it'll let you do anything like that, which would be incredibly annoying. Hmm. It's okay, there's a booster gold, whatever the hell this is. Have at it. Metropolis General offers a standard emergency ward, but due to the unplanned nature of emergency care, the emergency ward must be prepared for a broad array of illnesses and injuries, some of which may be life-threatening and require immediate attention. Thanks, Booster Gold. Surely I did have absolutely no idea that that was going on. The only good thing about reading those things, other than the fact that you get experience from it, is the fact that it gives you a nice little pan around the building, so if there's anything hidden like this, you can grab it. Kara, this is Kal-El. Lex Luthor is targeting Kryptonians for their DNA. He cornered Power Girl earlier at her MetaHuman rally at Metropolis University. This time, he may be after you. Be careful. I'm sending in our new allies as reinforcements. Superman out. Sneaky little bastard. Evil Superman. It's all a matter of perspective, ladies and gentlemen. Perspective. You might say that I'm a villain? Who's to say that I'm a villain? Who are you to judge with your subjective nonsense? 
What good have you done the world lately? Hmm? I tried to bring progress and good manners and courtesy. What do you do? You just complain and whine about me blowing everything up. Pfft. Wimps. It's okay, though. We're jumping over buildings to find this stuff. What on earth is that? Aha, it's a collectible. Brainiac System Breaker Data Matrix. Sounds complicated. Well, it's looking pretty likely at this point that we're going to have to deal with all of these side quests before we can go on and actually do the little dungeon thing. So, sort of beating up more dudes, which, again, is kind of fun, but can get pretty irritating at times. So that's a piece of advice for anyone that actually wants to play this. Get all the side quests first before doing anything. Because otherwise you'll end up you did this to me. doing all Please. of this stuff over and over again. Experiment. So grateful about their treatment, aren't they? Well, there you go. Americans with their health care. I'll make you pay for the experiments you did on me. But your premiums were so low, dear. Thankfully, I do have a reasonably large amount of AoE. So I can pretty much melt anything that comes into range. There we go. I suppose while I'm doing this, we'll be sort of a time to talk about the state of the game as it stands. Now, a lot of people are sort of getting to level 30 now. There does appear to be raid content. There is duo content. So there is certainly stuff to do. It's not as well fleshed out as, say, WoW. But WoW's been out for six freaking years. It's had six years to add content. Of course, there's more stuff in WoW. I'll make I think you pay as regards to a launch of a new title, it actually does have a reasonable amount of content, which is something that a lot of other MMOs have seriously lacked. Certainly not perfect, but definitely one of the better games that I can think of in the last couple of years when it comes to being a complete title. I think what you have to ask yourself is, if you actually want to get involved in a game like this, is whether or not you're going to have enough fun from the initial starting buy. Like, if you pay £30 or... $50 or whatever the actual original cost is... Oh, God. You, you stay the hell away from me, Bizarro. I, I don't trust you. Then, are you going to get enough fun out of the initial month to justify your purchase? Because to me, you who if I'm paying me. £30 and I get about 20 hours of entertainment out of it, I'm okay with that. But that's so very subjective. It really is. It depends. Some people, £30 is a lot, and $50 is a lot more money than it is to others. I don't think it's a reasonable to accept expect from a new MMO enough content to keep you going for like a year or so. And I don't, this game certainly doesn't have that. But I think it does show an inherent understanding of what you need to make your MMO successful for longer than a couple of months. I, I like to cite as an example Star Trek Online. People leveled up very fast in that and they level up very fast in this as well. And when they got to Rear Admiral in Star Trek Online, you anymore. there was just in my head. absolutely nothing to do. You know, there was one badly designed raid. There was PvP, which was basically garbage. And a couple of daily missions, and that was really about it. You did this Whereas this me. game's got duos, Please. it's got more experience. fully fleshed out PvP, world PvP, world ring arena PvP, the Legends Arena PvP as well as plenty of built-in sort of rep grind systems to keep me going. Some daily quests, raids, and duos. And to me, that's SOE's experience actually coming into play here. And while SOE has launched a bunch on? of really kind of weak MMOs in the past, Where am I? you cannot say that they haven't learned from a lot of those mistakes. You know, they've got much better in it lately. And it's good. It's good that we have a company oh, that doctor. has actually played... So, and indeed created so many different MMOs because they've collated a large library of knowledge. Good work. LexCorp values this information secrecy. Thank you for your efforts. Indeed. Values it so much that when they can be two soft drinks. Yeah, experience matters, folks. 
Pedigree matters as well, but so does experience. And if you've got a lot of different teams developing a lot of different MMOs, eventually, I mean, I could hope to see SOE coming out with some really good games, just out of the fact that they've tried so many different things and they now know what works and what doesn't. Nice working with you. I'm sure it was. Okay, we don't want that. What is it we actually took? Was it that? No. Oh, for God's sake, more of that crap. Your jamming technology is good, Lex. But <laughs> not good <laughs> Supergirls in oh, your please be quiet, Superman. Down permanently. And bring you and these allies of yours to justice. Now, you might know the voice behind that. That, I believe, is the one and only Adam Baldwin from Chuck and Firefly fame. Was also in a lot of different video games. Starting to do a lot of that acting. It's good. You know, it's particularly strong voice actor, in my opinion. This game has a huge number of them does certainly help okay I'm gonna keep looking for stray patients yeah you do that all right I should probably finish this other side quest before we try and go into the hospital I love the way that these whatever the hell they are can actually interact with stuff that I create in the world that's pretty damn neat picking up pieces of debris and throwing them around and stuff like that but I can't go in there yet so Unless there's an entrance to this that I've missed, which is also a possibility, because the actual hospital is freaking enormous. That's a shiny thing. We're not really interested in the shiny thing. Anything around here? Can you see anything? No. Always nice to get a nice, big, long view of things, but unfortunately, not seeing any entrance. So, one assumes it activates after this finishes. I mean, there's entrance there, but you can't get in it, so... Oh, well. Beat on more dudes, I guess. This is probably thus far the weakest area I've been in. I think the problem I have with it is that really what's happening here is pretty identical to what was going on in Gotham earlier. You remember I had to beat up the dudes and give our allies some stuff and help people. Things like that. And then going into the dungeon to go beat up the hunters and stuff like that. This is pretty much identical, and... There isn't quite enough story to actually carry it as an independent encounter. I think once we get into the dungeon, we could maybe see a bit of diversity, but right now getting absolutely freaking none of it. So, yeah, not good. Right. Now, wherever these things are, they're certainly not here, so... Head on over somewhere else. There we go. Aha, right. This sort of makes sense. You know, I wish some of these heroes would actually flag for PvP so we can beat on them, but... Ah, uh, there's a PvE server. Can't expect too much. Huh? Where'd he go? Okay, uh, only raging patients have these. Fair enough. That is a lot of freaking patience. No. Now... They do seem to have slightly upgraded the AoE damage of weapons, which is good, because I did not like the fact that they nerfed that. In the beta earlier, it was, you used to hit like an absolute truck on multiple opponents, which I loved. I like the idea of scything through uh, various people in the manner of, say, Dynasty Warriors or 99 Knights or something like that. Or, hell, God of War or anything like that. But... Not quite as cool when you only do about two or three damage to them. It used to be two. It's now three in some areas, as far as I can tell. Unless it's a percentile of the amount of damage you're actually doing with the weapon. Also a possibility. God, this is taking forever. I can't find enough raging patience. You know, if I was looking for rage, I'd just go on the internet. Find plenty. Just look at our YouTube comments segment. Ugh. Anything. Absolutely anything in that particular segment slash section, whatever you want to call it. I'm okay with anything. It works. So angry about video games. Unbelievable, isn't it? Now, again, not the guy we're looking for. Annoyance. Annoyance. And what can you really say about that other than the fact that it is a bit specific. There was a... Nice image that I had a look at. It's actually linked on my Twitter a couple of days ago. It's from Reddit. 
And it was on the subject of wrath quests versus cataclysm quests. And one of the differences they pointed out was very accurate. In that wrath quests required very specific mobs. Yeah? So you had to kill these dudes, these di different name dudes. That don't don't care about the rest of them. You've just got to kill the enraged skeletal knight. You can't kill the slightly livid skeletal knight. You can't kill the angry skeletal knight. You can't kill the sad skeletal knight. You must must kill the enraged skeletal knight. Because if you don't kill him, then you won't get any credit for the quest. Uh, right now, this bit of DC Universe is actually suffering from the same problem. Like, oh, they're only on these particular types of patient. Why? Why must you elongate it? I, I don't see the point. I don't see any good reason for that even being the case. But it is, so we just have to live with it for the time being. And as far as I can tell, there is no way to skip this, unless I'm somehow missing the entrance. And I've looked all over the sodding place. We got 5 out of 10, though, folks. We're good. Trust me, we are good. Now, I would like to get out of this area and maybe back to Gotham. I think it does show that they haven't quite thought through the possibility that people who, say, pick the Joker or Batman or whatever do actually want to stay in Gotham because Gotham is really cool. I prefer the gang war thing to the whole nonsense that's going on over here. As unlike, say, a lot of other MMOs, this game does have a pretty strong story going through it, and I could get into the story because it's voice acted. And in that sense, it is immersive. But, the story here, don't really care. If it's not being narrated by the Joker, don't really care. Lex Luthor, no, don't really care. He's just a stuck-up little twat. No question about that. Hey, oh, look at me. I need to get myself a big exosuit to actually do anything because I'm freaking useless. Yeah. Not much of a super villain, in my honest opinion. I was never a huge fan of him. I think the Batman villains have always been a little bit more compelling than the Superman ones. Mainly because when it comes to Lex, it's always been something, something kryptonite. Okay. I'll use a kryptonite spear, a kryptonite ring, a kryptonite gun, a kryptonite suit. You know, it'd be kind of neat if he was walking around in a dinner suit made entirely of kryptonite. Did you not know the green was in this season, Superman? <laughs> yes, and then he proceeded to teach that little upstart some manners. Except considering he consistently fails at everything. Seems unlikely. A lot of you DC fans are probably saying, Oh, well, that's not true, because in episode 265, you'll clearly find... Yeah, well, this is coming from a very casual observer of DC. And we're talking about films, we're talking about some of the animated series, some of the stuff like New Adventures of Superman, stuff like that. A little bit of Smallville, but not a huge amount. Very much a casual observer of the particular universe. And... While I do pref prefer Marvel, I think DC does have an awful lot going for it. And to me, it just always seemed like Superman was just such a meh idea because the stuff that could actually beat him was so otherworldly and far out and often contrived that it, it wasn't really intimidating or threatening or anything like that. Whereas, you know, with Batman, you know, Batman's just a normal dude who happens to be pretty damn good at fighting and have a lot of money behind him, so he could very easily be taken out by something. Superman, on the other hand, no. It's either Kryptonite or, in the case of Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, magic, apparently. I was not aware of that. Again, don't know if that was a contrivance. Is that canon? One of you DC Universe guys can probably tell me, I would think. Because... There's, there's tons of people who use magic. I mean, Cersei, for one thing. Does Cersei use magic? Has there ever been a crossover of the two? I also must say, I find it very odd that these things actually mix. You know, DC Universe is a very weird kind of place to set stories because you've got, in the same universe, Superman, who could basically kill... Well, I say kill. You know, beat up anybody... And then you got Batman, who's a normal dude, and Joker is a normal dude. I mean, it's like, all right, okay, Superman, just go and deal with the Joker, because the Joker can't actually do anything. Oh, and all the Batman villains, because none of them are actually super-powered either, with the exception of maybe Bane and a couple of the others. I don't know, I suppose he's just very busy these days. Right, let's get this handed in. Hopefully, we can actually go on with it. Am I going in the right direction? You yes, hoping that I am. 
No, no, I was not responsible for this at all. You are clearly deluded. What is this green I thing? Can't stand you anymore. Stop yelling in my head. Well, there's nothing there, so I guess we're going the other direction. Onward for great justice. I say that because it's ironic, ladies and gentlemen. Because it is ironic. Justice is not high on my agenda. Dark Halibut is a cruel, cruel individual. He knows the weakness of Americans. Sarcasm. Oh no, my greatest weakness. That's actually Superman's third weakness, by the way. His inability to distinguish ironic commentary. What, you stop for a bathroom break or something? About time. I'm a robot. I don't piss. Thank you very much. You know, I, sh I sh Why can you not just beat the crap out of that guy for even saying such a thing? That would be kind of wonderful. Just because you did some work for me doesn't mean I'm your best friend all of a sudden, so bug off. Why can't I kill him? He's a twat. Everyone else has been fairly respectful around here. Hell, that's even though. Oh, look. Oh, dear. I am so getting very, very owned here. Return fire. This guy has a lot of stuns, evidently. And I've managed aggro mobs as well. Jeez, he can't do anything here. What the hell? Wow. Oh, and he had a friend. Ugh. Unpleasant. Oh well, never mind. As I say, there's, there's no penalty for actually dying other than wasted time. And it does automatically... Who there? I don't even want to know what Duck Girl over here is getting up to. Now, we've done that. Can we please get ourselves into the hospital? That would be absolutely fantastic. Here's hoping. Here is hoping. Where is that journal entry? Stop with your freaking running! Journal, 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 journal. Right. Your jamming technology is good, Lex, but not good enough. Why? Oh, oh! Supergirl's in your so-called hospital wing to shut it down. Dumbass! You've got to pick one of the two. Of yours to justice. Oh, oh man. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. That was 20 minutes of wasted time. Hopefully you found it entertaining. Looks like we're going to find Dr. Psycho inside Lex's meta wing. Now, in the meantime, I do, in fact, have myself... I nice new set of weapons. Can I equip it as a secondary set? Answer, not so much. Hmm. Intriguing. Is there a weapon switch? Hotkey. I wonder. Well, bear in mind, I really do not have... A lot of abilities in hand blast, so probably not gonna use it for much for the time being. But it's nice to have a solid ranged set of abilities. Right, well, without further ado then, we are heading on inside. I'm gonna go deal with the nonsense that was going on over there. I can't actually remember which of these staves I was using. Was it this one? Combat energy staff? Yes, that's the one. Right. Well, 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 well. Need to head inside and deal with it. I need to find the entrance. Well, that's the deli. I'm fairly sure it's not going to be in there. Uh -huh. There we go. Meta research wing is where we need to go. So, let's head over in that direction. Oh, man. I... There are things, and you know, there are often times when people wonder how could you possibly miss that. Well, you know, people's minds work in a different way. And when you're commentating, and when you're actually playing the game, it often that you can miss things that to others seem incredibly obvious. It's very subjective. And it might sound like I'm making excuses, but really, there's probably a bunch of mistakes that you would make in a game that a lot of us would laugh at as well. You don't have the... I'd say disadvantage, but it, it's still an honor and a privilege to provide content to so many people. So I'm not going to say that it's a disadvantage, but you don't have the added factor of maybe 100,000 people watching your mistake and criticizing it, your play style. Can't find the freaking hospital. All right, over there, over there. There we go. Oh, incidentally, I actually saw a gold seller in this game. Unbelievably so. I couldn't I couldn't actually figure out what you would spend any of the gold that you bought on. But apparently you could buy gold in this game. Excellent. 
useful thing to know. We'll never ever use it, because, well, why? Now, inside the meta wing, where is the freaking entrance? Well, I don't know, but I found a secret collectible, so all is fine with the world. Luther to LexCorp. I'm sending in some of our new allies as reinforcements to get our test subjects under control. Oh, yes. I understand Dr. Psycho is still inside dealing with our Kryptonian problem. Don't bother extricating him. If he can't survive this on his own, he's not worth saving. Luther out. Nice and efficient. Reasonable. Onward! Okay, time to get some answers. You know, I do remember this music. Huh. <laughs> Sounds very oddly familiar to another dungeon I went Lex into. Lex is demanding to know what went wrong with this operation. He wants the full story, so don't bother coming back until you have something substantial. Ooh, these are level 13s. This might be unpleasant, but we'll give it a bash oh. anyway. And if it ends up being unpleasant, then we'll add the video there and we can always oh. just come back to it once I've leveled up again. I think... There's a fairly large limitation on content that you can do, and there are times when you are given tasks that do seem to be a little bit far ahead of what one is capable of doing solo. In group play, it wouldn't be an issue, but... I've had a few friends who've gotten up a lot higher than me, and they've said similar things about certain levels whereby they've said, Oh, well, all that's available are these lower-level side quests that don't get me an awful lot of experience. Or... You've got to go and deal with something that's way too high level for you and is really difficult as a direct result of that. Need to sort of perfect this downward smash combo. It seems to be extremely powerful. I do like the fact that there are NPCs in here helping you. You can get through this much faster than you would otherwise be able to if you were aggroing absolutely everything. Okay, this sounds like a good idea. Let's press that. There we go. Dr. Cisco journal entry, meta research project, day four. Please calm down. I'm here to help you. We have to get these meta patients back in their resequencing chambers before their DNA is compromised. I'll trap them in a stasis field. You get them on the transfer pad. Plasma to petroleum products. Unfortunately, that all overlapped. Oh dear, Supergirl does not seem all that happy to see me, does she? And she's taking basically no damage of any description. Aha! There we go. In a, in a stasis field. Get back here! Supergirl bouncing around all over the place. Unbelievable. Right, okay. Trap in a stasis field. <laughs> there we go. I can beat up patients with Supergirl. Hang on. Fighting. Get I'll off it! Get out of here alive. Quit it. I like this element. This is very cool because this is a nice little change no, to the whole pickup please, thing. No! I'm trapped! Yes, you are. Let's try and get him out of there, I guess. G g just, will you quit it? Ugh. It's annoying, possible superhero to deal with. Seriously, go away. Nobody likes you. You're a B list character at best. We've invested billions researching your DNA, and you're not. Help! Please, <laughs> stay away! Get out of it! There we go. It's okay, I'll free you by hitting Supergirl with you! Nah! -ha! Got to be a way out. Mind your manners! There we go. Dealt with. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. I, I like this. This is a cool, very, very, very cool fight. Don't worry. I'll have Chief you Researcher's no Journal. Always wear insulated I think not, when baby puppy. Technic samples. Help! Him. Somebody help! Yeah, okay, so that's one. Cold. Quit it! Seriously, petulant child. You better learn your place. Make me a sandwich. And now I've alienated ten percent of my demographic. It's okay. It's not a real female. Right, so you have to make sure that the side just doesn't get frozen, otherwise bad things tend to happen. Teleport escape. Right. Okay, there we go. Yoink. Oh, the please. Oh, please, no. Capture? I'll make sure you suffer like they did. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Come on, right. come on. Where's the exit? 
really, really, really low on HP. There we go. That should give me a little bit back. But yeah, using the stun combo on her seems to be the way to do it. Will you stop taking the patience? Really, nobody actually wants you here. Yeah. You're just making this... Get me out ah! of here! What did I do to you? Again, I shall Put beat Supergirl with... No! I don't want to do anything of the sort! Stop it! <laughs> I've got to find the way out. Why must you make my job all the more difficult? Unfortunately, she takes basically no damage. There we go. So... Oh, I just oh. freed him! <laughs> Come on! I just freed him. And you know, he doesn't even seem to care if I throw him around. Finally broken out. Please freeze her now. I'm really running out of HP. You're not going anywhere. Yoink. This is a tricky little fight. Especially since it's a little difficult to actually grab Leave them every now alone. and again. No! Ha <laughs> you fool! You knocked him directly into the teleporter. You weren't thinking about that one, were you? Oh, healing Why? barrels. Yeah, of course. Why are you doing this to me? Keep remembering there's these things. There you go. I don't know why they're here, but I'm grateful for them nonetheless. Quick stun, quick freeze. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I was wanting to see. The problem is, of course, you can't don't necessarily do this, do this in an outdoor area. Because the scripting won't necessarily work properly with multiple people involved. Although, I think we could probably give it a try, honestly. Go on, Freezer. Freezer! Free you. Just hang on. No, get off. You are not doing anything of the sort. Thank you very much. You know, I, why can't we just put her in the teleporter? I, why? Please, this is a good point, it. actually, it come to think of it. From those chambers without the proper shutdown codes, they'll die. Then I'll just have to get those codes from the mainframe, won't I? Oh, problematic. Quick, get to the mainframes and stop her. Destroy them if you have to, but don't let her get those codes. I have no idea where the mainframes are, because you didn't tell me. I assume it's in here? No. Just looks like a mainframe. Evidently isn't. It's not telling me where to go. That's the way out. Okay. This isn't a mainframe, even though it looks suspiciously like one. Teleporter? Do I? Can I use the teleporter? No, I can't. Right. Up there. Hmm. Maybe if I follow the pipes. Help me. Okay, massive AOE. That should be helpful to you. Oh no, sorry. I keep mistaking you for me. Stop! You're hurting me. It's the general idea. Yes. Please stop. At least I wasn't trying to deceive you or anything like that. This looks like a mainframe. Is it a mainframe? Oh, right. Disable the security door generator so I can actually get through to the mainframe. I hope the heroes kick your ass. These multiple objectives are confusing. G get off that! I have to get these codes and free the prisoners. I've had enough of you putting lives at risk. I'm bringing you in to face justice. I'm thinking not, I little girl. Anyone without those codes. Yes, which is why you're not getting them. Get I don't even know what that ability is that she's using, but I don't like it. I'll smack her about a little bit. Okay, I still can't damage her, unbelievably. <laughs> okay, took a play of that game. At least we could Forget if we had this. any power left. I gotta get the codes. It's not happening. Need to break everything. Okay, you're done now. <laughs> you're mad, bro. You're mad. Not gonna help you. I like the idea that you're actually up against someone who's invincible and you've got to do something kind of nifty in order to make it happen now. Okay, our AI is going bad. Quick, take advantage of this game as you. I don't even know what she's attacking. It's very odd. Is she going after this? I have to stop that fire. Oh, right. Why do you have to stop the fire? Well, I'm okay. Oh, right. Okay, so set fire to everything and then she gets distracted so you can beat on these Saving things a little bit more. Comes first. I ah! Need those codes. Of course. How foolish of me to not remember the nonsense of the hero. Ah, I must save people. Nah. Okay, well, I will just cause a lot of trouble while you're trying to I'm do that then. so over you. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a robot. I don't have feelings. Quit it. 
Yeah, nonsense. Set it on fire! I need to get those codes. But first... <laughs> only you can prevent LexCore fires. Do some mad combo skills to bring these things down. You're there we really go. really ticking me off. Of course, she can't actually swear because she's a superhero. You know, if she was actually thinking that way, get, get off it! No! There's I th someone trapped in there. Yes, indeed. Go deal with him while I if destroy I any hopes of burn. you succeeding. I love that. That is, that is a great piece of storytelling right there. Being able to exploit the fact that heroes always go for that kind of thing. Forget That's a this. nice little touch. I gotta get the codes. You know, he's dead, by the way. You failed to save him. You are now going to feel guilty for the rest of your life. Stop with the lasers. I have lasers of my own, I will have you know. Oh, I have no power to break Saving out of this. people comes first. There we go. I need those codes. That's a bit of AoE spinny You're action. You're wasting my time. If I can't use the computer, I'll get the codes from Dr. Psycho. Why did you do that in the first place? <laughs> God. You know, she's not all that smart, is she? Poor dear. Again, all these D-list heroes. Okay, before she gets to Dr. Psycho, I, I don't know which direction she went into to even get there. Is there another way out? Yes, there is. Okay, it must be up here. Do, 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 do. I'm not using super running here. Thank you very much. Simply not happening. Where's that psycho doctor? Sorry, can't hear of the sound of how awesome I am. There we go. One. Oh, please, with your bloody interrupts. This is for sticking me in that tube. Yes, you wanted to be there in the first place. Take amazing meta human medical trials. Get a free car. That's not much use if you're permanently enslaved in a test tube, but hey. Minor inconvenience. <laughs> like, it's like, ooh, a meteor just fell on me. How amazingly inconvenient. It's like you're going down the store. It's like, ooh, they've run out of brown sugar. Also, meteors. Oh, dear. I'm not entirely convinced by some of the voice work in this game. Admittedly, WoW's death noises have gotten so old. You remember when you first heard them? It's like, oh, this is so great. Now, six years on, ugh. You know, and eh nonsense like that. God. Dr. Cisco journal entry. It's pretty meta bad, isn't it? Project, day eight. If only I had a real meta subject to experiment on. A Kryptonian like Superman or Supergirl. Then Lex would get the DNA he wants, and I would have the experiment subject of my dreams. Don't put collectibles and other voice acted stuff in the same room because they'll end up overriding each other, and that will be bad. We like the voice acting. Chief Researcher's Journal. These vines are growing so rapidly, I'm worried about the Back container's off. integrity. Oh! I was so close to actually getting that. I'll use laser eyes from the. I don't even know how I did that. Well, I suppose, you know, I have metal skin, I could reflect it off my own body. I'm trying to make up contrivances and reasons why the game is buggy in some regards. Apparently just saying it's an MMO isn't enough. Dr. Cisco journal entry, meta research project. Wonderful. Right. Now we came in via ramp, didn't we? So we're probably going out maybe this way. Yes. Sounds like a plan. Oh, there's two ramps. Great. I don't even know which one I went down in the first place. Oh, hello. We meet again. Now, I would invite you out to dinner. Where are you going to run to now? Me running? What the hell? Oh, hidden kryptonite, right. Of course, how foolish of me. There would be hidden kryptonite. God, I feel like a Lex core bloody contrivance all over again. All right, well, it's not in that. Or that. Oh, ow, ow. So much blood and pain. Stun. Meteor. Does she care? Not really. Must be around here somewhere. In here? No. Get off. No. Hang on a Kryptonite? minute. Where did it... How did it... 
Nah. Lex Luthor. <laughs> Damn you, Lex, my only weakness that consistently keeps appearing at the most inconvenient moments. She's taking minor damage. I'm okay with this. Yeah, you just stand next to the crypto. Why is she staying here? It's just... It's like, oh, my only weakness. I shall stand next to it. Can't say they really do much with her next to it, though. I tell you, she, she's not that weak. <laughs> it's one of these healing barrels. Oh, she blew... Oh, it's okay. That released it anyway. You weren't thinking that one through, were you? Uh, oh, hers is better than mine. Damn it. Need some combo power so I can actually release my healing ability quickly, quickly. There we go. Okay. Back on my feet. Who the hell's that in the corner? Like, it's out of freaking nowhere. Some random kid, apparently. Stop with the lasers. What did I ever do to you other than unleash kryptonite? Bang. All right. Okay, that hurts much more. Much happier about that. So, one, two, three. Hold one, and then hold the second, because it's got a massive, great knockdown ability. Ah, doesn't really help, of course, when you're getting your ass kicked. Come on. I have to wonder what kind of container it was in that stopped it from working to begin with, because usually, like, the mere presence of kryptonite in a room is enough to break a kryptonian. Evidently not in this case. Come on. <laughs> that was my last soda, so... Got to kind of beat her now. Don't really have a choice in the matter. Which mostly involves spamming knockdown attacks to make sure she can't get up and kill me. Come on. Almost got her. Ow, with the lasers and the pain. Ugh. What did you just do? I'll pay you back. And I'm bringing friends. <laughs> yes, I'm truly intimidated, little girl. Run away, little girl. Run away. Mm. There we go, folks. And collectibles as well. I could have handled Supergirl myself. I was simply plotting my next move while being tied up. I'll ensure my good friend Lex Luthor um, <clears throat> hires you again. Thanks for the info, bro. Wanna see the world through my eyes? It's easy. Just picture everything you want and can't have, and multiply that 10,000 times. Everyone laughing at you, pushing you aside. Unless you take the power for yourself and make them give you what you want. Luther knows, soon they'll all know. And when I get what I want, I'll be the only one laughing. So basically, he's a giant perv. Okay. Sounds entirely reasonable. Wonderful, wonderful feet points. Indeed, how useless you are. Chief Researcher's Journal. It's not as dangerous when separated from its owner. Handy. Right, well, got ourselves a nice Kryptonian battle chest, which is a massive upgrade. Big fan of that. And we are about done for this particular area. Thankfully, happy to say that that really did actually redeem it. I was not so happy with the quest that I was doing up to this point, but that was a really, really cool dungeon experience that was actually quite immersive. Very original. Big fan of that. Hope to see more. My name is Total Biscuits. You're a dark halibut. Please remember to mind your manners, or you may end up in flames. Not the good kind, either. And yes, there is a good kind. I'll see you next time.